Hello everyone and welcome back to CountryCast. Today we are going to take a look back at times when country music and its artists faced adversity and unfortunate tragedies. Some of the compilation of this list comes courtesy of articles published by Taste of Country as well as Pop Culture. Fans of country music have seen some of their favorite artists go through very rough times throughout the years of this genre. And with these times faced by the artist, we have received some of the most personal music and music that many of us were able to connect with in our own lives over the years. The country music community not only truly cares for the music, but also the artists that represent this amazing genre. So with that, let's begin reflecting back on the moments that have impacted the artist and moments that have brought such emotion behind the music. First up, I would like to take you back to only one year ago, the year of 2020. 2020 was not only one of the worst years for us here on this earth due to the coronavirus impacting the world and our great nation, but the virus also hit the country music community extremely hard. There is no doubt that the year of 2020 brought tragedy to this genre. And during that year, we lost many artists, some who unexpectedly passed away after contracting the virus. The artists who left us in 2020 were the likes of bluegrass legend, Mr. Tony Rice, KT Oslin, country icon, Mr. Charlie Pride, Hal Ketchum, Doug Supernall, Country Music Outlaws, Billy Joe Shaver and Jerry Jeff Walker. Texas singer-songwriter, Johnny Bush. Ray Pennington. Another hit singer and songwriter, Mac Davis. Johnny Cash's drummer, known for bringing Cash's signature sound, W.S. Fluke Holland. Americana singer, Justin Towns Earl. Jamie Oldeker, who played drums for the 90s band, The Tractors. Gary Allen's longtime keyboardist, John Lancaster. Statler brother member, Harold Reed. Former member of the Oak Ridge Boys, Gary McSpadden. Folk inspiration, John Prine. Willie Nelson's longtime drummer, Paul English. The Grand Ole Opry's house guitarist for 50 years, Mr. Jimmy Capps. Icon, Kenny Rogers. 90s superstar, Joe Diffie. And of course, the fiddle-playing son of a gun, Mr. Charlie Daniels. Country music lost many greats through 2020 and really faced a year that was surrounded by heavy emotion. To also include the loss of live shows that not only impacted us fans, but the artists as well. The year created the fear of the unknown surrounding the future of events and careers, including financial stress, brought onto the artists, their bands, and their crews. This will definitely be a time in country music that will live in our hearts and memories forever. Next up, we remember Keith Whitley, a career and life that was cut way too short. An obstacle surrounding Whitley, as many of you know, was alcoholism. Whitley's wife, Lori Morgan, attempted to help her husband the best that she could with his addiction. However, Whitley passed away in 1989 at his home from alcohol poisoning. Keith Whitley was a staple in country music even though his career was short-lived. Keith Whitley's career began in 1984 and stayed hot throughout his time in the business. From 1984 to 1989, Whitley compiled 19 hit singles. Don't Close Your Eyes, When You Say Nothing At All, I'm No Stranger To The Rain, I'm Over You, and Miami, Miami are just some of those hits, but without a doubt, those songs of Keith Whitley and many more still hit harder today than they ever did. Keith Whitley helped shape this genre, and even though tragedy struck early into his career, he created a legacy that will live on in country music forever. Now we reflect back to the year of 2004, when news broke that Gary Allen's wife, Angela Herzberg, passed away after taking her own life on the porch of their home. Gary Allen and his children were home during this tragic event, which really impacted the singer for some time. 
Gary stepped away from the spotlight, but eventually returned and recognized that expressing his feelings and emotions through his music helped him cope with the loss of his wife. Many of you may remember Alan's record titled Tough All Over, which was released back in 2005, only one year after his loss, and that record featured the songs Best I Ever Had and the two that he wrote tributing his late wife, I Just Got Back From Hell and Putting Memories Away. Gary Allen turned back to the music that had been there for him for so long before, and he shared his raw emotion with his fans, and to this day, he is still one of the best to do it in the business. Next up, we remember the king of country music's first child, George Strait's daughter, Jennifer Strait. George Strait entered the country music scene with his first record back in 1981 with his debut album titled Strait Country. Shortly after the start of his career in 1986, George and his wife Norma faced a moment that no parent should ever have to face, the loss of their daughter. Jennifer Strait passed away in 1986 after being involved in a single vehicle accident in San Marcos, Texas. The King of Country's daughter was only 13 years old when she lost her life. According to a report by Country Daily, Jennifer Strait was a passenger inside of a vehicle with three of her friends when the driver of that vehicle lost control, causing it to roll over, which instantly took the life of George Strait's daughter. The King of Country stepped away from interviews at that time, but had no intention of stepping away from the music. George Strait continues to honor his daughter through the Jennifer Lynn Strait Foundation, which he created, and the proceeds continue to go towards San Antonio Children Charities to this day. Now we remember an event that hit Reba McIntyre and her camp very deeply. Back in March of 1991, eight members of Reba McIntyre's band and crew lost their lives after a tragic plane crash. According to the LA Times, on the night of the accident, two private planes were being utilized to carry Reba McIntyre's band and crew to their next tour stop in Indiana from California. After Reba performed for IBM executives in California that night, the first private plane left from Brownfield around 1:45 a.m., carrying seven band members, Reba's tour manager, along with the pilot and co-pilot. Shortly after, the second plane followed suit, leaving Brownfield. However, not long after takeoff, the second plane and the air traffic controller from San Diego lost contact with the first plane. It was at this time that the first plane had made contact with the side of a nearby mountain, causing the plane to crash into the ground, releasing its fuel, and rolling over multiple times. Reba McIntyre was devastated by this news, and instead of continuing her tour, she diverted back to Nashville, according to her spokesperson, Trisha McClanahan, at the time. McIntyre's follow-up record to the event, titled For My Broken Heart, was dedicated to her band members, manager, the pilot and co-pilot who lost their lives on that tragic day. Another time in country music where an artist was met with the unthinkable horror was back in 1984. Loretta Lynn's son, Jack Benny Lynn, passed away after attempting to ride his horse Black Jack through the Duck River near their farm. Due to the rough water conditions, Loretta Lynn's son was unable to cross the river and drowned after being knocked unconscious after falling off of his horse. During the horrifying incident, Loretta Lynn was also located in an unconscious state and became hospitalized. Loretta Lynn has also lost her husband, Oliver Vanetta Lynn Jr., known as Doolittle, as well as another child, her daughter, Betty Sue Lynn, she lost her daughter in 2013, and Loretta Lynn has also lost Jeffrey Allen Lynn, who was her grandchild and the son to Jack Benny Lynn. Loretta Lynn is such a beautiful soul and an icon in country music. The love for this woman in country music and outside of this genre is infinite. Willie Nelson is the last artist on this list, but as many of you know, he has had quite the career and personal life when it comes to tragedy and adversity. 
but even still, Willie has found a way to continue to bring fans his music. Going back to the year of 1991, Willie Nelson's son, Billy, took his own life and passed away on Christmas Day of that year. Before the horrifying events surrounding his son's passing, Willie Nelson met adversity financially. The IRS had repossessed a large amount of his property to resolve a debt of $32 million. And not to mention, over the last 48 years, Nelson has also had his fair share of arrest surrounding drugs. But now, due to his activist approach to cannabis, and it's slowly becoming more legal throughout the U.S. on the state level, it may be only a matter of time before Willie Nelson will be part of the argument allowing for cannabis to finally become federally legal. Willie Nelson and his guitar Trigger have more memories made than we can imagine, but there are some memories that were more of a rough time for the country music outlaw. Unfortunately, the list of tragic, horrifying, and unimaginable events spread even wider than what we have covered. At times, it may be easy to think that our idols, icons, and music influences couldn't be vulnerable because of their status or the charisma that we see while they are in their element performing and making music. But what makes country music so special is artists will share not only their good times in life, but also their heartache and pain. The connection that we feel as fans with country music is sometimes indescribable to the spot on lyrical content of everyday life. I just want to take a moment and say thank you to the artists that have given us just that and for continuing to put in the work that makes this music so great. Country music has been through a lot over the years. Now, here we are in 2021 and it is still proving how strong of a genre it truly is. Guys, that will be all for today. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Turn those notifications on as well so you never miss out on any breaking updates surrounding your favorite country artist and all the news coming right out of Music City. Y'all stay country.